Hey everyone, it's Phoebe and it's that time of the week, Friday morning, where I dish up the what's hot in climate change news briefing. So let's get started, shall we? So number one for this week, a federal document was leaked by the New York Times stating that climate change is actually real and it's heating up pretty fast. The whole idea behind leaking this document was so that once Tr President Trump or the EPA got their hands on it, that they wouldn't alter it or tweak it or, you know, just write in big red crayon Chinese. So I tried to read the report myself and unfortunately it's over 700 pages long so I ain't got time for that. But the gist of it all is that in the past 150 years, our Earth has been rapidly warming. Also states that the main cause for this is, well, this might not be used to you, but can you guess? Ding, 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 man-made greenhouse gases. So this document was compiled by 13 different federal agencies, and it completely goes against everything President Donald Trump and our EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt have to say when it comes to climate change. Oh, this is a big step in the right direction politically because they really can't argue their way out of this one. It's definitely not China, and it's definitely because there's too much carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. So sorry to all those big oil lobbyists and Koch brother bullshit. They're not going to win this one. Clean energy is the future. All right. So number two for this week, the company of Tesla is sponsoring the entire island of Kauai. Aloha. So Elon Musk is partnering with the state of Hawaii in their efforts to become 70% completely green renewable energy by the year 2030. And what better way to do it than go off grid from the United States as a whole. The state of Hawaii is able to accomplish this because through the use of refrigerator sized batteries, they're able to harness all the energy from the sun during the day and store it at night to be used as electricity. So normally they use solar power during the day, but they haven't figured out a way to store it for the evening when usually most people do use their electricity in their homes. So with the addition of these giant batteries, they switch from diesel powered electricity. But don't misquote me here because Elon Musk, while he is donating all of these solar panel batteries to pretty much power the island of Kauai, they are slowly going to pay him back over the next 20 years, so not to crazy inflate their taxes. All right, moving on. Number three for this week. Remember the whole Keystone XL pipeline drama? You know, that the company came from Canada and that Donald Trump promised all these jobs and that it was a great idea. And all the protesters went to jail. So these genius farm owners in Nebraska decided, why do we have all these humans who are protesting when instead we could put solar panels in the path of the pipeline? That'll send a message. And so for those who haven't been keeping up with pipeline news, Yes, they're still trying to build that fucking thing. And these private landowners who have farms are trying to resist selling their property to these big oil companies. So this project is dubbed Solar XL, and it's a coalition of farmers who have been offered large sums to sell their land for these pipelines, but instead are sending a message by building solar panels. This is a great example of how we can show the rest of America that we don't purely have to rely on fossil fuels, especially ones that come from Canada. Mr. Trump, I thought we were trying to keep the jobs in America, right? And next for this week in number four, the world is burning. Remember Greenland from geography class and how it's completely covered in snow and ice? Well, for all my Game of Thrones friends out there, it is now the island of ice and fire. So Greenland's technically a territory of Denmark and they've never seen a fire of this size. So the government and meteorologists and the fire people really have no freaking idea what to do. Right now, there are record fires all over the world, in Europe, here in the United States, and even up in Canada, that literally are compromising the air quality that we're breathing and really affecting our health. So I know you're probably wondering, what does climate change have to do with 
giant forest fires all around the world? Well, the answer is a lot. <laughs> because there is less rainfall and droughts everywhere as well as rising temperatures. And while forest fires are natural in the process of revegetating, how many fires are happening right now and on such massive scales all across the world is literally should be a cause for concern and what's happening. Which brings me full circle to number five, which I mentioned before the New York Times and their leaked article, but they also did a study talking to Americans about how many believe climate change exists versus how many thinks it's going to happen to them. Check out this graphic from the article that shows people who believe climate change is real and due to greenhouse gases versus people who think climate change will directly affect them personally. So you can see from this key here that the percentage of adults per county who think global warming will harm people in the United States is anywhere on average 50 to 70 percent based on your location. And according to the key here for a percentage of adults who think global warming will harm me personally is more upwards in the 30 to 40 percentile. Should we revisit number four with the fires? And for those 70 to 80 percent of people who don't think that climate change will personally affect them, maybe even though you don't live next to a fire prone place. Well, basically this kind of works out in that people do believe that climate change is real, that yes, greenhouse gases are in our atmosphere and we're causing it, but it's not gonna happen to me because I don't live in that kind of environment. Oh, case in point with these fires, what may be happening thousands of miles away is compromising air quality in your own space today. Also with these fires is a big reason they started was because of serious droughts. So for people who don't believe that climate change will personally affect them, think about all the droughts for agricultural uses, that if there's no water, there's no food. Just one more example. Um, we kind of covered water and food and fires and smoke and how all of that potentially could affect you. But have you ever thought about health and viruses? Because if it keeps getting warmer, those Zika mosquitoes keep going north. This is happening right now. As it's getting warmer, these virus carrying pests are coming north, you know, leaving their tropical land to go feast on some American climate denying blood. So congrats, you've made it through another weekly briefing of what's hot in climate change here at Bear Change. I'm Phoebe and I hope you learned something to bring to your next social gathering. So instead of talking about what he said, she said, she wore, who he slept with,